What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you guys today's video. We're talking Town Hall 10 today, minor attacks, something I think is underused, but very versatile at Town Hall 10, and something that has a lot of room for error. Doesn't take, I guess, as much skill, to put it bluntly, as maybe some other attacks do. This attack right here, starting with, give me credit for the plan. I, I executed this plan at first, but the baby dragon and the CC never died, and it took out my miners very slowly over the entire attack, uh, which cost me the triple. But this is the cleanup of it, and one of the reasons I think miners are still so good at Town Hall 10 and that they've kind of had a, a resurgence since the uh, Stone Slammer was added is because the Stone Slammer presents something that is very useful for minor attacks, especially at Town Hall 10. It presents a way to lure out the clan castle, and it also presents a way to take out a chunk of the base for funneling that the siege machines otherwise couldn't do as well. You could use the battle blimp before a little bit for it, and maybe the wall wrecker, but this is a way to open up the base for a king to kind of come along, or for the queen on a queen walk, or just to drop some Valks into the base. Doesn't matter where the town hall is. Um, that was how it was used here, was the Stone Slammer pathed into one of the Inferno Towers, and look at that nice uh, pathing. This entire side was taken out, um, pushing the miners straight through. Nice tight pathing about the width of a heal spell, which is what you look for uh, for this type of attack, as you do in any type of uh, attack where you're using the heal spell. You want to keep all your troops in one heal, ideally. Lets you get more value from them. Uh, so this was great use here um, of the Stone Slammer at the beginning. And uh, heroes up top to create the other funnel, and then the miners just kind of push through. But miners are very versatile. There's not a whole lot you have to look for in a base. It doesn't matter if there's gaps in the base uh, as much, because they just kind of push on past them doesn't necessarily matter air defenses versus wizard towers i mean there's a lot of like nuances to like a laloon attack or a hog attack the spring traps and stuff the giant bombs um which all of that is still relevant to miners but it's more of looking at the base holistically can you get a good uh, funnel created <coughs> excuse me can you get some good value from your siege machine uh, particularly the stone slammer and if that's all true, then oftentimes, I'd say more often than not, you can three-star the base. Um, so we'll fast forward to the end here, just a few more buildings to get taken out. But a very nice attack, and um, I think with all like the dragon craziness that's going on that people are using, miners are being overlooked a little bit. Um, going up to number 23, we're a little bit scattered here, but I have all the attacks written down, so we should be okay. Um, this one was a bit more, uh, a few things happened. I think some Teslas popped in this attack, which made it, um, the Stone Slammer not get as much value as it, uh, otherwise would have. A few balloons go down, soak up some of those Seeking Air Mines. The Stone Slammer's going a little bit of a, a drunken walk here, just kind of going between each of these buildings randomly. Um, and it will go down pretty quickly because there's just a ton of Seeking Air Mines. I believe there's Valks that drop out, so they're not going to do a whole lot besides target those storages on the outside and maybe get a little bit of damage on the king there. Um, but that's okay. I think that shows that this attack has a lot of room for error, which is something I talk about a lot on the channel because you want to look for it. You don't want an attack that you know has so many contingencies. If you do one thing wrong, if your finger has a little bit too much perspiration on it, uh, you don't get the three star. That's not what you want. You want something that has a lot of room for error. Um, you're... You can spill some milk on your tablet and you'll still be able to triple. That's what you want to look for. Um, so takes out the CC at the bottom here. Once again, as I uh, emphasized at the beginning of this video, the Stone Slammer, it brings that new element of being able to lure out the CC. Um, and it also did a decent job creating a funnel. It took out the first like outer layer. It didn't get into the base at all, but it took out that outer layer of trash and Teslas, which is kind of the bare minimum, and that's acceptable for this type of attack. Uh, Queen's going to kind of do it at the bottom. The dead space pushes everything up towards the top where most of the defenses are, so that's good. Uh, has a rage for the miners, which will get some good value over those high HP buildings, such as the king. Well, he's not a building, but he's a, something that the miners have to deal with. Uh, but also wizard towers, expos, lost stuff, uh, so good value on the rage there. And then here is where things get a little bit dangerous because um, it wasn't the best funnel 
because the stone slammer didn't do its job as much as it maybe we would have liked for it to have done. But um, there's enough miners that it's okay. It's okay that the troops are kind of being surrounded. That's what you you want to be afraid of in a miner attack is if your miners start to kind of dig into the base, but they're leaving. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry, a bit of a cough today. They're leaving uh, defenses all around them as they push through. Then they tend to get picked off pretty easily. You run out of heal spells a lot faster. Um, so that's kind of what happened here. You can see there's kind of a ring of buildings, like a semicircle right now, and that shows um, how much this really did happen. But the, the important thing was that most defenses, the big defenses, Wizard Towers, Expos, the Heroes, that went down quick enough um, so that there was enough miners to make it okay, to make it still be able to work. Um, so nice attack, fast forward these last few seconds away. And we'll move on to number 34. Um, these attacks, if you haven't watched my last video, uh, coming from CCL, which is Clash Cup League, um, no dip league that we're participating in for the next uh, month or two. I'm not, I forget exactly how long the season is, but it'll be yeah, maybe two months, um, kind of in between CWL seasons, more or less. So, um, should have some good content coming from it, if nothing else. We're, we got kind of crushed week one, but I think part of it is we're not used to a no-dip league, and maybe that's an excuse for us sucking at three-starring, but um, it is something to adjust to. There's definitely some truth to that, so I think we'll do better next week and hopefully get the victory. Um, taking a look at this next one, also using the Stone Slammer, you guys will see how it's used in just a moment, but a nice queen walk, which is something that um, Town Hall 10 is not used as much just because the miners, the mass miner is can overpower the base just fine, but you can still use it and get some good value in certain situations. The queen starts to go the wrong way here. She was supposed to charge into the base and lots of great value from the stone slammer. It takes out like three or four defenses on its own before it drops out the Valks, which themselves will get some pretty good value. Or oh, sorry, not Valks. This was a P.E.K.K.A. And with the help of the poison, the P.E.K.K.A. is going to lock onto the queen here. Um, which is pretty important because the queen can often pull miners in weird directions and mess up the pathing. Um, so he goes ahead and drops down his miners, which will push the queen all the way back the right way. She'll take out the CC first. So kind of like the best thing that could have happened here because um, the baby dragon was not going to die to the poison spell. So that works out nicely. Um, healing these miners as they go through here. King used up top. So this works out very, very nicely. Because the Stone Slammer got so much value, the Queen actually doesn't go into the base because so much of it was already carved out on the bottom right there. So she's going to continue taking out trash, which is okay. There's plenty of miners inside the base, um, and that's, that's pretty much it. So you guys may have noticed last few attacks, there's been some mistakes, some hiccups, but you know it can still work out, and that's why I want to show this, these attacks, show this attack strategy, because there's a lot of room for error, and it's important to emphasize it as a good viable strategy at Town Hall 10, especially with the Stone Slammer, which isn't new anymore, but I feel like it, it got kind of pushed as a as a troop that you use for queen charges and for air attacks, but it's also nice um, for luring CCs and stuff like that. Okay, moving on, um, let's see, where are we at? Where are we at? Number 40, I believe. Two more attacks if my voice can handle it. Um, this one also using the healers on the queen here and a um, bit of a weird base but that's what I love about miners they don't care about walls the base design can be weird um, but you can take it out just as you can a regular square base which miners are kind of originally very powerful on or those square bases that we don't see as much but uh, were popular for a while so drop down the queen the base is symmetrical so I think the idea is she can go either way and the attack will still work. Just kind of keep your eyes open and uh, adjust accordingly. So the queen will step up, take out the king. This is something, pay attention to this. I was a huge fan of this. Dropping down two wizards, because the queen alone cannot take out a defensive king, but because the wizards help, doesn't have to use a rage spell. Um, otherwise, would have had to rage up the queen pretty much just to take out the king. Um, it's one thing if you're gonna have to rage up like immediately after anyway, but uh, that's not the case here. The rage would have already worn off, and there was no need for it. The queen's just fine. Only the expo and the wizard tower locked on to her right now. So saves that rage spell um, to use later. Very, very nice how that worked out. 
Um, sometimes you might as well rage up anyway if you're going to encounter like three point defense right after the king, but that was not the case here. So keep that in mind for sure. Not using the stone slammer, using the uh, wall wrecker, which works out fine. Because keep in mind, if you're going to use the stone slammer, you have to get value not just from the slammer, but also from the troops inside of it. And I don't think that really would have happened on the base. All four air defense is still up, so it would have got destroyed relatively quickly. And plus, like, you know, where are you going to drop, like, Valks? I mean, there's no point, really. Um, in this case, the slammer is going to... Oh, sorry, not the slammer. The wall wrecker is going to open up the walls for the queen to continue to push into the base here and kind of clear, clear out that uh, top side for the miners. Kind of unfortunate the king himself doesn't do his job. He goes into the base instead of going around it. Would have been a lot nicer if he um, took out the Tesla, the mortar, probably a giant bomb there as well. That's all stuff you want to get taken out on the outside by the king. Uh, but it's okay. Uh, goes ahead and rages up the miners because, look, he had that extra rage that didn't need to be used to, uh, to take out the defensive king. So uses that rage, gets good value for, uh, from it on the miners there. And finally the king comes around. It's a little bit too late at this point, but I guess eventually he kind of came to his senses and went to the outside of the base there. Uh, but this base is crushed. There's really only like a few defenses left up. Last heal spell, not necessarily even needed. Ton of miners still left up at the bottom of the base, or sorry, on the left side of the base there. So we will fast forward. Uh, one more attack to take a look at, just showing it for the memes, if nothing else, because this was kind of a low-level base. But um, it's it's something that I, I you know I think is still important because. A lot of times you're going to face these lower level bases and it's very frustrating when you don't triple them because, you know, Infernos aren't maxed, Expos aren't maxed, pretty much everything is one level uh, under upgraded here. So mass miners are a great way to kind of take out these bases. Pathing isn't, you know, extraordinary through the base here, but it's actually not bad either. Um, queen on the, t on the right side, King down at 6 o'clock here, and um, some Wizards to help as well. And he'll get some pretty good value here. Uh, from the Wall Wrecker, it tanks. Really, the Wall Wrecker is a, a pretty good tank for the miners. It allows you to delay having to use a heal spell. It can tank those CC troops, uh, make them stay in the poison longer. Uh, so there's some good value to be gotten from the Wall Wrecker if it so happens that the side you enter on is opposite the Town Hall. That's kind of one of the conditions you have to have. Otherwise, the Wall Wrecker will go the wrong way. Um, but there was a golem in the wall wrecker, which was very interesting because it just gets stuck right there. So maybe he was hoping the wall wrecker would push a little bit farther and drop that golem a little bit deeper in the base. But, um, I guess against a, a base like this, there's a little bit of room for trolling with a golem in the CC. Uh, so it'll just kind of hang out the entire attack, but the miners push through, go ahead and fast forward. Cause there's nothing, uh, that interesting going on just miners pushing through the base here but look to use them especially against these lower level bases um, it'll really save you some frustration and some unnecessary uh, overthinking on some of your attacks uh, look at that golem though still at full hit points all right that'll do it for the video thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed miners pretty strong at town hall 10 look to use them look to use them with the stone slammer especially for that cc lure take it out with your heroes on the other side and you're good to go. Um, I will see you guys next time. Bisectatron out.